Okay, we're ready to start dimensioning the Geneva cam after you've created all the geometry. I've changed my layer for my object layers to yellow to make it more visible for this demonstration. So we're ready to start our dimensioning. First thing we're going to do is drop down, make our dimension layer active. Make that active. Then we're going to set up our dimension standard. So we'll go to dimension style manager and we're going to modify the standard. We'll start over with tab on lines. We want to make sure that we extend beyond the dimension lines our desired amount, which the standard is 1 16th to 1 8th. So we're going to make it half of that 0.09. Symbols and arrows closed filled. We're going to set our arrow size to our standard of eighth of an inch. We are going to set our text size to our standard of one eighth of an inch. And under fit, we're going to leave this active there. And we're going to select scale dimensions to layout. Uh, we'll go to primary units and we will select, looks like the drawing has a precision of two decimal. Um, we have leading zeros, so we'll leave those on the drawing also. Uh, trailing zeros or leading zeros, we can take them off. We'll leave them on there. Click OK. Click Close. And then we'll just start to dimension the uh, part. I, I'll come up here, select a linear dimension. Dimension this. Place it approximately where, where we want there. Uh, we have leading zeros. Let me uh, go back and change the standard here. Modify the standard, uh, modify it, and we will take primary units. And I had leading zeros taken off there, so I'm going to uh, click that, close, and you should see it change that. Um, I will now dimension the rest of the part here. Zoom in. somewhat there. Uh, looks like we have a dimension here. And we have one down here. And um, doesn't match the print totally yet, but we'll fix those. All right. Uh, we have an angular, angular dimension here. We're going to select this and this. And move this about there. Uh, we have a radius dimension there, diameter dimension. Let's dimension this down here. And there. Zoom in. That does not match that. Um, you'll notice that if we select our diameter dimension here, it does not match the style. So I'm going to escape out of that. Um, don't have our radius dimensions. Uh, something like that. So now I'll go to the tips and tricks. Uh, additional Geneva Cam tips. Hand it out with your homework. All right. Use dimension to edit to add the diameter symbols to the desired dimensions. So um, that is these two dimensions. So I want to use dimension edit. So I'll select dimension edit. Come down here, select new. And I want to add the diameter symbol. So I'm going to come up here. Uh, notice my cursor is blinking before this zero come up here, select my diameter symbol, and hit enter. Oops, excuse me, don't hit enter. Uh, just click outside of that, click that one, that one, and then hit enter. And you can see that that updated those with the diameter symbols. All right, so we've done that. Uh, it says, um, mention the 
radius of four and a half inches and the radius of one and a half using dimension style override fit tab with the arrow selected. So I'm going to select this override fit tab and I'm going to select arrows dimension. Um, click OK there, close there. I will do a radius dimension. I'll do the uh, four and a half inch first. So I'll select that, position it oh, about where I want there. And then I can grab the text and move it to where I want to. Uh, that looks approximately the way it did there on the print. And now I'll dimension the one and a half inch radius. So I'll select that, select this, position that about there. Um, looks good. All right. Um, now it says dimension the half inch dimension with the override both text and arrows fit. So that's this one down here, which I've already dimensioned, which does not look right. So I'm going to select that and delete it. I am going to again select this, do uh, override dimensions, and I'm going to select both text and arrows. Select that. Click OK. Close. Dimension this, this, bring this down, boom, like that, and it looks like the drawing. And it says to dimension the one inch using dimension style override text tab offset dimension line 2.1. So we are looking at the one inch dimension over here, so I'll delete that. And I am going to select my dimension override, override that. And I'm going to uh, override text tab. I'm going to set my offset from dimension line to point 0.2. Set that to point 0.2, click OK, close, and I will dimension that feature there. And once I dimension that, I'll grab that and move that text in like that. Hit escape, and you can see that looks the same the way it should. Now I've got to dimension my, I forgot to dimension my 4 inch in. Uh, one and a half inch diameters. So I'm going to again using the override fit tab text position. I'm going to override this. I want to make sure I set this back to the default of 0.09. And then I go to the fit. Oops, got one too many decimals in there. Go to the fit tab, select text for that. And OK, close that. Then I will dimension those diameters, my 4-inch diameter here, right there. Whoops. And so I can click on that and I'll move that where I want. I'll turn my object snap off. I'll move that down here. Then it says to grab the grips and drag it with the grip. So I'll grab that, drag that down there. That now looks the same. I can hit escape. Looks the same in my one and a half inch diameter. I'll grab that. Dimension that. Like that. Zoom in. Select it. Grab the text grip and drag it down there. And I'm done with that. And it looks like I'm dimensioned everything except my keyway my keyway I'll have to do with multi leaders I'll explain that in another video um, I'm done with for this with now I'll just save it and then in a following video I'll show you how to plot this out to scale it